The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the correct way to draw up and administer a subcutaneous heparin injection. This will be administered using the three checks and the six rights of medication administration. The scenario that we have is the patient was admitted into the hospital and the doctor has ordered and prescribed heparin, 5,000 units, Q12 hours for DVT prophylaxis. Okay, so I have transcribed my orders um, from my patient's record of my orders to my MAR here. Um, and I started with the patient's name and then the information. I made sure everything was transcribed correctly. Um, the doctor, of course, ordered the heparin 5,000 units. Um, that's Dr. Smith, and the time to give it is 0900. So um, I will begin my three checks on the medication. Um, I've got the patient, Josie Smith, I've got her um, drawer out of the Pixis machine, which has all of my stuff in there here that I need. Um, I have my heparin, 10,000 units per milliliter, um, which the doctor ordered heparin, 5,000 units. But that's my first check because I have here that I have my heparin. Um, my second check would be to draw up the medication and get everything ready for administration. So I have my um, three milliliter syringe here um, to draw up the medication with. Um, I have my 18 gauge needle, and then um, I'll change it out to my 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle um, for the injection because it is a subcutaneous injection. Okay, and so I will go ahead and pop that off there. And um, I'll go ahead and do my calculation for my heparin to see how much I need. So my desired is 5,000 units. I have 10,000 units. And then my volume is one because it's per milliliter. So according to that calculation, I'll get 0 0.5 milliliters of heparin. I'll go ahead and clean off my vial here, flip over my alcohol swab, and then I'll go ahead and get my 18 gauge needle out to draw up the medication with. Okay, so my 18 gauge needle is in place. already cleaned off my vial. I'll draw up 0.5 ml of air into the syringe. And then I will inject that into my vial. Okay. Make sure I don't have any air bubbles in here. And since this is heparin, I do need a second nurse to double check me to make sure I have the correct amount here in the syringe. And I also like to, for them to check my calculations too. So if I can get my second nurse to come and check this for me, please. And that's supposed to be 0 0.5 ml. Okay. And then there's my calculations that I did. It's heparin 10,000. The doctor ordered 5,000. Looks good. Okay. Thank you very much. So since I have the correct amount of syringe, I'll go ahead and um, close my safety needle. Um, this one, I can go ahead and change my needle because I'm not going to use an 18 gauge syringe to give the injection to the patient. Okay, so my needle's changed. I did my second check on the medication because I did my calculations. I have the second nurse, uh, nurse check and I've drawn up the medication. So that's check number two. Um, I'm going to make sure I label my syringe with a piece of tape 
and write what medication it is on there. So that's my second check. My third check will be going back to make sure it's heparin 5,000 units. Here I have heparin 10,000, um, but I have 0.5 mLs of heparin in my syringe. So that is my third check there. And um, the only thing I need to take to the bedside would be my syringe, my alcohol swab, and I need some gauze also. And I'll take that and go ahead and inject the medication. Today, Mrs. Smith. I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, my name is Camille, okay. and I'll be your nurse today. Um, it looks like the doctor has you down to get some heparin. Um, have you ever had that medication before? I have. You have. Okay. Now let me just verify you are who you say you are. Okay. And um, we have Josie Smith, and your date of birth. What's your date of birth? Uh, three fifteen forty nine. Okay. Perfect. And do you have any medication allergies that I do not? No. Okay. All right, and you've had the heparin before, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Um, now this injection, it's a subcutaneous, so it's gonna go um, right below your skin into your fatty tissue. Um, I'm gonna give it in your abdomen. So okay. it's gonna go about two inches from your belly button, anywhere two inches from your belly button, more um, to the side. So there is a good site right there, okay? And I have my heparin in here, about a half a milliliter in my syringe. I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves here. Okay. And I will clean my site from the inside out. Okay. And I'll just flip over my alcohol pad on the site that I cleaned so I'll make sure I remember where to go. Take my syringe, take off my cap here. And my alcohol pad there. Take off my cap. And I'll pinch up about two inches on her. Um, um, it could be anywhere from two inches, or if it's less than two inches, like about that much, I'll go in at a 45 degree angle. Since it's, I'm going to pinch up more than two inches, then I'll go in at a 90 degree angle here. On the count of three, you'll feel a little stick, okay? One, two, three, little stick. And I'll slowly push the medication in. I'll wait just a few seconds on this one before I have to withdraw the needle. Take the needle out there. And on this one, they do say that you can hold, if you hold pressure for a little bit on this, it kind of helps the medication not to leak out too. So I'm holding pressure. In the book, it says for one minute, but hold pressure for a little bit there and there you go and was that very painful no I didn't feel a thing well that's I'm good good thing. wonderful any questions for me um other than what you've already had about the medication um is there anything I need to watch for or well yes on this one you want to make sure that you watch for any excess bleeding um okay. when you brush your teeth um try to use a soft bristle toothbrush or your your gums might bleed with okay. that um, just watch for any bleeding in your urine um, or bleeding in your stools and okay. then um, any bruising that's not common for you. Just make sure you let your doctor know about any of that that goes on, okay? Okay. All right. And so is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. Okay. Well, if you need anything, I'm going to put the call light here. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and put your side rope back up for you. So your call light is right here. If you press this button, I'll be right here for you. Okay. And put the bed down all the way in the lowest position. Okay. And if you have any other questions or if you need anything else, just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. You have a good day. And I'm still in the patient's room. I'm going to document um, that I gave the medication. A document that I gave the medication um, on my mar and how many, um, how much I gave. I'll sign here and then 
initial and see more SVN. And I'm done with my hybrid injection.